Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back in Unreal Engine 4. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can get a flat look or log look, whatever you want to call it in Unreal Engine 4. Now, if you're familiar with, you know, video videography or if you've been shooting with DSLR or cinema cameras, um, shooting flat look is always better because it gives you a little bit more flexibility in post-production. And I know I have shown you guys this before, but very quickly, pretty much. So today what I'm going to do is just pretty much show you guys the entire process and kind of just talk about why I think it's better than just uh, rendering out srgb or rec 709 straight out of unreal engine 4 so we're back here in our tutorial uh, similar environment that we have pretty much just two robots just trying to see who's you know the baddest pretty much and looks like the other guy is getting his butt whooped but what we're going to do is export this in flat look it's not necessarily raw because to me raw you'll be able to change iso white balance so on and so forth in post-production but what we're doing is actually exporting in linear pretty much getting all that data as much as we can okay so to do this we're gonna need the movie render queue now i've been meaning to make a movie about or tutorial about movie render queue because there's just a lot of stuff in there i'm gonna try and do that this weekend but to get this started you go to plugins and just make sure you have the render queue enabled which we already have movie render queue right here and you actually see it right here so save this all and we have one cinematics this level sequence that i'm showing you guys and for the second tutorial we'll just do you know 70 maybe 67 frames or 66 frames we'll do just this entire scenario right here let's make sure so let's make sure that this camera cut track is the one that we want and this is cinema camera actor we have two cameras in there it looks like cinema actor 7 right here go to sometimes you have to like flip over so you can see this is 7 delete this one and we're gonna look at seven right now and we're just setting up the camera here okay let's go ahead and focus these two individuals here like always it's best to turn on your focus assist here so you can actually see who's in focus like that is good right let's do a static camera for now and what I'm gonna do is delete the cinema camera actor because it doesn't look like it's working correctly so I'm gonna click that and now you can see that that cinema camera actor is actually showing the correct frame okay now we're gonna go to our movie render queue under render we're gonna choose level sequence I'm gonna go to the settings I'm gonna turn off JPEG and I'm gonna add EXR sequence because as you can see this is 16-bit right for the compression I'm gonna leave everything as default but you can change it to none or zip or PIZ and then we're gonna go to settings and it's right here the color output and usually this is untwirl uh, this is usually twirl but go ahead and untwirl it and you're gonna disable tone curve so this is gonna let you export out a linear image that we're going to bring in post-production and it looks amazing we're going to go to output and we're going to change this to 4k and i already have that in that folder custom frame rate 24 i'm going to change this to 66 because we're only going to be rendering out 66 frames i'm going to accept render local all right so in davinci resolve we went ahead and dragged and dropped that export that we just did and as you can see it looks like dookie right well, that's because it's linear. We're going to have to delog it, if you would. I don't know if that's the right term for it, but watch, just watch what happens. I'm going to go to my timeline, and I'm going to drag and drop that. Go ahead and make this smaller here so you can see this a little bit better. Now, that's good. I'm going to go to my color tab, and I'm going to create a new node, Alt-S. Now, you can do this in After Effects as well, but the Vinci Resolve is, you know, I've, just my software. Okay, I've been using it for a long time. So, I'm going to go right-click. LUT. I'm going to go to VFX IO and we have a couple of options here. We have a linear to Airy Log C. All of these down here. You can go to Rec 709 directly. So if I go right here, it's going to take it straight to Rec 709. Or if we want, we can take it to Airy Log. 
and you see what happens. The detail is there because we exported in linear. We have all the detail. And Airy Log C has so much dynamic range that it actually it will actually show you. So if I go right here and I go to Rec 709, the Rec 709 color space is very limited as, as far as the bucket, if you would. But if you change it to log C, you're actually going to see the linear form. You're going to see the entire range of data there. So now you can, you know, go crazy with your color correction. Because you have that, you know, even the highlights right here are not clipped. I'm going to control F. See right there? And I'm going to remove this. And you can see that in the waveform as well. That is crazy. And this is how I export pretty much majority of my Unreal Engine for short. And 3ds Max and my uh, same exact thing. So now if I play this back, look how freaking nice that look. And obviously it's lagging a little bit. And depending on how good you are at, you know, coloring and color correcting, you can really... Do some freaking damage here and just for the fun of it since we converted this to linear to airy log c let's see what c converting this to an airy rec 709 will look i mean look at that all right and then we can crush the darks a little bit and obviously this is not like a coloring davinci resolve tutorial but now you can see that how amazing this looks if I bypass it look at this now it looks photorealistic I mean that was like a what a 30 second render we didn't even turn any ray tracing on or anything like that so uh, that's pretty much it that is how you get a flat look or log look or linear export out of Unreal Engine 4.26. So if you learned something new today, just go ahead and make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to learn more about filmmaking in Unreal Engine 4.